To say that chess is challenging is an understatement. Kara Vanninger met some girls making their mark in the game. Chess is a very old game, and as it was handed down through centuries from culture to culture, some aspects changed, but its dual nature as a pleasurable pastime and strategic challenge remain treasured no matter where it is played. And lately, a lot of excellent chess is being played right here in our own backyard. Already home to the World Chess Hall of Fame and host of the U.S. Chess Championship, St. Louis is quickly becoming a respected hub for the game. And when four-time world champion Grandmaster Susan Polgar moved the Susan Polgar Institute for Chess Excellence to Webster University, another important piece for St. Louis chess moved into place. I was looking for a new toy activity, what to do when I was like four years old, and I just uh, tumbled on, onto a chess set, and uh, I was just first read by the shape of the pieces. And then eventually when my father introduced me to the essence of the game, I, I, I got captivated by the beauty of the game itself and uh, I enjoyed playing and eventually I compete, started competing and learning and in a way chess became my life. But for young female chess players, perhaps her most inspirational achievement was to break the gender barrier by qualifying for the men's world championships and going on to earn the men's grandmaster title. But Polgar didn't stop with breaking ground. She laid a foundation and has become a true role model and mentor for girls in chess. For the past nine years, she has hosted the Susan Polgar's Girls Invitational Chess Tournament. And this year, it was at her new headquarters, Webster University. Susan Polgar is a revolutionary chess player, not only because of this, her strength, but because of her work, which she does with the young people, and I would say with the young girls, defying defying this, this preconceived notion that gender has to do something with the quality of chess. Chess is for girls just as much as it is for boys. Chess is a equalizer and chess can open a lot of doors for you. And of course, most of all, chess is a lot of fun. Subdued fun, perhaps, as the qualifying participants approach the tournament with the concentration and focus it deserves. I think the event is becoming more and more prestigious and uh, the level is improving and I think the girls are very excited of the honor of qualifying to the event, of the opportunity to come and compete and learn. It is amazing how, how chess as a game has evolved in the last 30 or 40 years. Uh, today, young players are playing such a strong chess. Chess is not just a game, but chess teaches you very important life skills. When we play chess, we constantly evaluate, we analyze, and then we make decisions. And those are so important life skills for everybody, whether you're in school or in the workforce, or even in your family situations. Those are constantly thought process that we are or should be following. And in chess, you practice that. The overwhelming theme of the tournament was that of balance. The girls were encouraged to play with passion, but also with respect, to savor the competition while remembering the fun of the game. Chess is the game which brings people together, and although they compete, they also compete in the most constructive way, forming the friendships and the atmosphere which transcends through the time and through the space. It is a game which, for which you need a passion and that passion shows in everything what they do. So the game is not over when the actual game is over because the game continues to live in the young people and it will continue for the time to come. I'm very pleased to continue help opening doors for the next generation of girls in chess.